Y'all already know what time it is, child. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it. What's up, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? And this is an edition of Yes for the Mess that I don't really like to do, but I know you guys want me to talk about it. So this is I-D-G-A-F, I don't give a fuck news, okay? News that I could care less about because it's about people that I don't know and don't give a damn about because what are they famous for? And that is Ari Fletcher. Who is she? Why is she on the blog? And why the fuck am I talking about her? All I know is that she's some rap nigga's girlfriend, some rap nigga that I don't even listen to nor respect. Okay, that's all I know that she is. But she apparently always ends up in the blogs for something. Okay, and now she's in the blogs because she's mad at the real for talking about her for um buying money bag yo some twenty. 28 acres and she tells them to mind their business. Oh, that's very funny. She's supposed to be a damn influencer, social media influencer. But yeah, she wants the media to stop talking about her. Girl, get a grip. Because let's just be real. We really don't want to talk about you at all. Like we really don't care about you at all. Because what the fuck are you famous for? What do you do, girl? What businesses do you have? What product are you selling? What do you do? Besides fuck, suck, and lay on money bag, yo, and spend his fucking money. What do you do? I'm trying to see what the fuck makes you so damn important anyway. What do you do, girl? Please let me know. What do you do? Because you should be happy that somebody talking about your ass. Because that's what the fuck you want anyway. You want somebody to talk about you anyway. It'd be real funny to me. That these social media influences and shit like that, people that get paid just for doing nothing, people that just get paid just for um just for fucking on the nigga. Y'all really get mad when the blogs post y'all, but y'all want the fucking attention. That's just like how YouTubers get fucking mad when they're posted on Lipstick Alley. And for what? We here, we want somebody to watch our shit. We want to be talked, we want to be talked about. Some of this sometimes we don't want to be talked about, but we really want to be talked about because we want people to see our work. So we can't be mad when they post us. That's what happens when you put yourself out there. So Ari, so Ari Fletcher, whoever the fuck you are, get over it. You really thought that you weren't gonna be talked about? I'm surprised that the real even recognize who the fuck you are anyway. Okay, and I'm going off on you before we even get into the goddamn um article itself because that shit just annoyed the fuck out of me. Who the fuck are you, girl? Every time you come in the damn blogs, I wonder who the why the fuck you in these motherfucking blogs. That's the part I be trying to understand. However, child, let's get into this article. I, I do not understand why this pumpkin patch kid always is in the blogs, but child, we gotta talk about it, child. So Ari Fletcher is speaking up and defending her elaborate gift giving skills. As previously reported, influencer Ari Fletcher gifted Moneybag Yo 28.8 acres of land for his 30th birthday. The nigga just 30? I'm, I'm older than him, child. The host of the real specifically Garcelle stated that an elaborate gift like that is an example of acting married. Ari Fletcher was asked by The Morning Hustle how she feels about getting criticized by the real co-host for giving her boyfriend such an expensive gift. She said, I feel like everybody just needs to focus on what they doing and who they doing it with and what makes them happy. I feel like we're in a different time zone right now. The world is completely different. It's not like how it was when they was growing up. Basically trying to call them hoes. Oh, okay. She continued to speak about how in this day and age, there are more opportunities to make more money and dream big. She said, so we got bigger dreams. We dream way bigger because, you know, we can do it now. You know what I'm saying? It's different for us, you know? So I just feel like our lady looked into the camera and said, mind your damn business. Hmm. What are your thoughts on Ari's comments? Let us know down below, child. Listen, girl, we get paid to mind your business. What part of that don't you understand? 
We get paid to mind your business. And you're telling them to mind their business. They are minding their business. You want to know how? By minding yours. You wanted this life. You wanted to be a part of this life. You already knew what it came with. Why, why the fuck are you so damn mad and bent out of shape and fucking pressed? Okay? They were going to talk about you. People talk about you anyway. For what? I don't know. But they talk about you anyway, my girl. That's what they're going to do anyway. Real shit. That's what the fuck they're going to do. Why you mad? If you're secure in what the hell you did for your man, why does it matter that they had anything to say about it? Because me personally, I personally don't have a problem with you buying money bag yo some land. I think that's a, I think that's nice that you did that. I think that that's nice because I feel like if the roles were reversed and if it was a man buying um, a woman some land, it would be praised and looked up. But being that she's a woman and she bought him some land is being looked down upon. You know what I mean? So I don't necessarily see the issue with her buying her man some land. I don't. But she got to get over the fact that people are talking about it. Girl, they're going to talk about it anyway. They're going to talk about it anyway. So I don't understand why the fuck you so fucking mad about it. Like, what, what you mad for? I, I, I'm just trying to understand what you mad for. Okay, you mad for what again? Like, you upset because the people talking about you. The people talking about you, and now you mad. You want you want the people to talk about you, right? You want people to talk about you, right? So I don't get what the fuck you so pissed off about. So it's like, girl, I don't understand people like Ari Fletcher. They act like they don't want... Um, they act like they don't want what they getting. It, you know, as far as I'm concerned, when I say they don't want what they getting, they don't want um, the attention that they get when they literally are in the blobs just because, um, just for attention. Like straight up, because it ain't like they do anything worth noting. You marrying a damn rap, I mean, not marrying, you dating a fucking rapper. You ain't doing nothing special, my girl. Like you're not. So. I mean, but that's how I feel about her. That's all I got to say about her. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. Like, you telling them to mind their business. They are minding their business. Part of their job is to mind yours. Part of their job is to get paid to talk about you. Y'all be talking all this shit, but we get paid to talk about you. We enjoy talking about you because it gives us a bag to talk about you. Get over it. Just get over it. Now, in other I don't give a fuck news, we're talking about the baby once again, okay? And this time, it ain't got nothing to do with no homophobic shit. It ain't got nothing to do with no with him disrespecting no woman. But it has something to do with him trying to get with a married woman knowing that she's married. And she put him on blast, okay? So, we're going to get into this article, which is also from the Jazz and Brand. Let's get into it. So, the baby is back in the headlines. But this time he has someone doing the talking. Jonathan Kirk, also known as the baby, age 29, is making news for allegedly trying to talk to a social media influencer who is a married woman. The woman whose Instagram name is Mrs. L.A. Truth called out the baby on her Instagram claiming that he sent another woman in an attempt to talk to her knowing that she was married. In the caption of the post, which included the screenshots of the direct messages, she wrote, PSA, I don't play about my marriage. The ultimate disrespect for me is to have someone who steps in your DMs, not only knows that you're married, but was in the midst of doing business with my husband. I ain't nobody's B. And number four, disrespect my husband and, and disrespect my marriage. Some people would say you should just ignore it, but nah, this is the ultimate disrespect that I can't look past. My profile clearly says Mrs. L.A. Truth and my husband is L.A. Truth, the person that your team has spoken to plenty of times. She continued, he went behind my husband back, sent a woman to do his dirty work, hoping that it, would, it wouldn't get back to my husband, and thought that I would keep it on a hush-hush because of who you are. Now, I'm not one of them. Those females you used to dealing with would jump out of a moving car just to fuck with you. I'm solid, and I can't be impressed by any man but my husband. Nah, he ain't the first, and he surely ain't the last. There's been NFL and NBA players in my DM, but they weren't disrespectful. And my husband didn't know of them and wasn't doing business with them. And they were left unread and deleted. But it's the principle of him knowing my husband 
looking at my profile twice because he asked her this my second time seeing her that's a sign right it's on my profile you clearly seeing me posting and tagging my husband even in the screenshot you took of my profile shows my husband in recent posts so you know she concluded by saying so to all the men who wants to attempt to dm or send someone to get at me for this should be your sign not to most women would be ecstatic to have this person wanting to talk to them but i'm not i don't want none of y'all i'm good where i'm at if you've been following me from day one you know that i don't acknowledge men in my comments i don't acknowledge them on my live i don't bring them on my live and i don't engage with them at all so i don't even see why you would attempt to try me i ain't never been no friendly female to no man and i don't give a fuck what status you are i'm good she also posted to her story expressing how disrespectful men can be and that her that her name is not mrs la truth for nothing she said men are insanely disrespectful i'm sorry but i'm not one of them who's looking for a come up or what you uh or want you because of your status I'm, oh she already said that already my bad her husband la truth who is a rapper and actor responded to her post with one thing my mother my father taught me when i was growing up was never to fuck with a married woman because i could get my head blown off and the woman's husband wouldn't even be wrong it's time to show motherfuckers what's up with me hashtag beast mode activated time to spank these little niggas the baby has not responded to any of the allegations or comments at this time now i'm going to briefly speak on this and then i'm going to be out of here for the night because i got to get up early in the morning i got to get up at six in the morning and it's not 11 55 so let me make this real quick real quick okay first of all i'm not surprised i'm not surprised at all by the baby trying to get with a married woman i ain't surprised not one bit it looks like it's in his character and in his human nature i'm not surprised however what i am surprised about but then again, I shouldn't be surprised. When this came on the shade room and the neighborhood talk, when I was at work today seeing this shit, all these women, she could have kept it to herself. She could have kept it to herself. She could have kept it to herself. But yet y'all go up for these other women who sit up and put men on blast that they have already slept with. Like, I, I don't get that. Like, y'all sitting up here defending the baby who was trying to get with a married ass woman, but y'all going in on her. Y'all going in on her for being a ride or die for her man. <laughs> but y'all not saying nothing about the baby trying to fuck on her knowing that she is married. Period. Now, um, apparently he did respond. So I'm on the shade room right now. So apparently he did respond. So I'm going to play this video here and then um, we're going to be out of here. So I did not know that he responded. So here we go. Let me put his picture back up so I can play the video at hand. All right. So let's get in to it. Real quick, real short sweet. Whichever one of you graphic designer took my name with that blue chip and created that fake motherfucker. Yeah, I'm making it look like I'm not just trying to slide and somebody wipe the young you dead and wrong. You're dead wrong. And I don't even talk like that. Look on my lingo a little better next time, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe it'll make some bigger blogs like so pick up on my lingo a little better, make it sound a little bit more like me. But all in all, man, look, I'm be using my mother just to play with no motherfucking married couple playing playing my like living and dying by like so don't put my face on that nigga. Don't put them type problems on my plate. You know what I'm saying? Don't want no trouble, brother. Why? I wouldn't slide it. Nope. I wouldn't slide it. A single woman be on talking like that. That's, that's too loose. Real quick, real short. Okay, y'all. So that was pretty much the baby. Um... That was pretty much the baby addressing the situation at hand. Now, I'm looking at some of the comments, and um, I see pre-Madonna. She said, but either way, if you're happily married, sis, why entertain or put this all this energy into this? It's a bit much. How's it a bit much? She put him on blast for trying to talk to somebody else's, for, for, for him trying to get at her, knowing that she's married. Um, the Sincent Show, who I find to be a complete clown, he talking about he innocent. Um, but I'm looking at the comments and everyone is pretty much saying that um, 
they believe him. Uh, they think that she's doing all of that for clout and all of that other stuff. I don't think that she was necessarily lying, and um, I don't feel like the baby is innocent in this shit, period. I just don't. Um, but who knows? I mean, people can make fake messages. People can do shit like that, make some make some phony shit look real. So who knows? I don't fucking know, but who knows? But that was just. But y'all gonna always defend the baby. Every chance you get, you gonna always defend the baby. But however, um, but he said it wasn't him, and she said it was. I would hope her ass did not make up no shit like that just to get put on a damn blog. But. You know, it is what it is, child. But that was a part of I don't give a fuck news. <laughs> but with that being said, y'all, this be your boy Scatter by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video, whatever you see fit. Also, click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter and IG will be down below. If you want me to follow you back on IG, be sure to hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message, Team Scotty, and I will definitely follow you back, okay? With that being said, though, your boy is out of here. Until my next video. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment. Even in the shady bunch.